and welcome to the shop. This is a review of a Precision Matthews 5C collar chuck. As usual, we'll start off by taking it apart. That was pretty easy using a 6mm hex key to undo the front bolts. Three bolts out and the back plate comes off without too much resistance. It is on pretty snugly though. Very clean, just a little bit of grease in the back there. Now these are the four holes at 90 degrees that help with the set true function of the chuck. They go in from each side and uh, obviously provide um, centering of the uh, boss here. It's a pretty tight fit and I'm not sure how easy it'll be to uh, do the adjustment. Goes in, fits snugly, um, perhaps a bit too snugly. Very little movement. It rotates very smoothly though. Next I'm going to get the body apart. It comes in two halves, top and bottom, and the seam between them is virtually invisible. It is a very good finish, very good fit. You can just about make it out right there by um, that opening. So it's held together with three bolts and I will loosen them up. Tight, but not terrible. The two halves really aren't meant to be taken apart all that often. And this is what one of the bolts looks like. A little bit shiny at the tip where it was really torqued in. Next we'll take the bevel gears that drive the scroll out. It's held in by this locking pin. Very nice finish, well ground and nice and shiny. A little bit of grease at the very tip, but otherwise very smooth. A little bit of shaking and the bevel gears fall out quite easily. A little bit of grease on the gears, which is good. These are the set true type adjusting screws and they have a nice cup tip to them. Decent attention to detail. The holes have not been deburred, but they're not terribly sharp. All right, attempt number one to separate the two halves. And attempt number two at taking the two halves apart, put the bolts back in, and a little bit of hammering and tapping. You can finally start to see the seam actually. And we are making progress. All right, these are M6 by 45 millimeter bolts, making a note for posterity. Okay, the two halves come apart. The inside looks very nice and clean. Not a lot of crease in there, and it doesn't look dirty at all. The bevel gear has got grease on the teeth, but nothing much on the mating surface over here. Most likely it's for oil uh, to get in there. Now this is what the mineral spirits look like after I've washed the two halves. A slight bit of color in there, probably from the grease, but I don't see any particles, crud, grit, no bits of chips, 
metal chips. And again, the surfaces are very well ground. My finger is pointing to the anti-rotation pin or screw that comes in from the outside, right here, that screws in and uh, prevents the 5C collet from rotating as you're tightening it up. And now you can see the oiling port that's on the outside and comes out on the inside here. Okay, some minimal deburring on the outside. And I'll use a small file on the inside as well, just because we're there. Some calcium sulfonate grease. Put the bevel gear back in and it rotates very smoothly. All right, time to reassemble. A little bit of gentle tapping. It's a very tight fit. More tapping. And then I will just put the bolts back in and tighten it up smoothly and evenly on all the three bolts, a little bit at a time until it goes together snugly. You can actually see the oil seeping out uh, at the seam. It's that good a finish. Next, the retaining screws have been put in. And the back plate has been put in. I'm putting in the set true type set screws in as well. Next, we'll work on the cams. The cams have actually got a line on them that is supposed to be like a depth marker and as you screw them in you should screw them into the line and hopefully that'll align them uh, to the same depth and this is the screw to keep the cam from rotating back out and now everything is very nicely assembled or is it? I decided to take the back off just so that I could check it by itself. All right, let's see what happens as we rotate the back plate. Pretty good. And now we'll go ahead and install the chuck. There are three bolts in the front. Tighten them up. And let's look for the run out to start with. It's about five thou. And now we'll go ahead and adjust the screws a little bit and see what we end up with after going through the process a few times. And the end result is pretty good. Um, but after tightening the face bolts, this is what we end up with. Hmm. Back to the drawing boards. So, this time I thought we'd loosen up the face bolts and then tighten them up slowly and steadily. I'm doing very little, perhaps a sixteenth of a turn at a time and watching what happens on the indicator. And much better. So I've loosened the three face bolts and the four adjustment screws on the sides and we are going to see where we go with that. Alright, let's go ahead and bring the indicator up and zero it just for the fun of it and let's give it a spin. Alright, fair amount of run out. And now to make very small adjustments a little bit at a time. 
are marked them with red and blue dots, one and two, just so I would know which particular one I was working on at that time. And now to go ahead and tighten the front bolts. The focus kind of wanders off a little bit, but it's easy enough to see. And interestingly enough, since they're only three bolts, um, you kind of have to guesstimate a little bit and perhaps have two of them up at a time. Uh, and it works. It's not that hard. So close to the chuck, it seems to be pretty good. Now we'll go an inch out and there's a little bit of movement there so tighten up the face bolts a little bit at a time and just keep working at it back and forth a little bit and basically just keep going back and forth a few times uh, the set through uh, adjusting screws can also help out here. It's a slow but effective process. And working on the set through screws also helps. Minimal movement is needed actually. A little bit more of the face bolts. And next we'll go ahead and take the uh, drill rod out and put it back in. It's a very snug fit. All right, tighten up the collet. And let's see what numbers we get. And just to clarify, the collets are not from Precision Matthews. They are from KBC Tool, but they're just a generic bunch. Pretty good. Next, we'll go ahead and try and see what happens when you take the chuck out and put it back in. So overall, I'm going to say we've had some pretty good results. I hope this video has been helpful and useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I hope you will watch future videos and perhaps even subscribe.